March is National Sleep Awareness Month, and many parents could get more sleep if their babies just fell asleep faster and stayed asleep through the night. One thing that could help make that a reality, a baby massage. So here with tips on how to massage your baby is Alina Furman, who is a certified infant massage instructor and the founder of Call Me Baby Massager. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Everyone has me scared. Our first <sighs> baby was so easy to sleep. They're saying baby number two is going to be a mess. Yes, so this that happens where, you know, that's nature's way of keeping yeah. the babies in check. Yeah. So how does a massage help? if I need these tips yes, down the absolutely. road. So baby massage helps with so many things, not just sleep, but sleep is definitely the most important thing. Okay. Uh, baby massage helps with constipation. It helps oh. with releasing gas, brain development, bonding, which doesn't mm. automatically happen when you're a new mom. People don't understand that. And, mm. and it also surprisingly um, helps reduce postpartum depression and anxiety in both wow. parents. Wow. So I've kind of done it with my first as a routine at night. We're putting lotion on her. That's when great. do you think we should be, is it all day? long um it's, they... it's really uh, whenever you can get it in so okay. the more massage and the more consistent you do it the more ac uh, acclimated your baby will be to the massage mm -hmm. and they will enjoy it more because okay. if you just start and do it randomly sometimes they're not ready for it and they can get a little fussy yeah <laughs> which yeah. you don't want that that's what we're trying to yes. avoid what would be maybe something very simple yes. that we could do to start so if you're if your baby's having a hard time settling i call this the sleep sweep and you just uh, take your finger and just weep down from the forehead to the nose and then you mm. can do that with the eyebrows you just put your thumbs right in the middle of their head and sweep gently out now if you do that rhythmically and slowly baby will eventually it's kind of like a hypnosis mm. yeah. uh, situation where they will settle eventually and then yeah. there's another trick because a lot of times gas and teething is what keeps a baby mm. so yeah. with gas you'll always want to rub baby's belly clockwise direction clockwise. and then okay. all, always massage their feet because mm. this really helps a lot of babies get constipated for days mm. and when massaging their feet you'll really want to get into the solar plexus here that okay. really helps them um, go to the bathroom and then mm. with um, their teeth and cheeks you'll just want to make circles going down their jaw because they mm. hold a lot of tension when they're teething always a clockwise circle for everything um, for, for the for the face not necessarily but okay. always on the belly because always you want to follow the digestion uh, the intestinal tract in which the digestion goes okay anything if they're on like tummy time my daughter hated yes, yes. anything to keep them calm on so you can actually get that neck strengthening in absolutely tummy time is so important so why always yeah. when it comes to tummy time you always want to maybe put them on a bolster like a little pillow okay. and then um I also, this is the Calmy that this I created. This yes. is amazing. It reminds this me of like the massage guns we use yes, for ourselves. They call it the Theragun for babies, but the uh, levels okay. are so gentle. Yes. So it's um, I'm created. sure it's not that safe. <laughs> so <laughs> pressure. what I always do, and babies love to take this, and so I always hand it to them, and they just oh. put it right in their mouth and start chewing on it because it, the vibrations help um, that there's a sensory input there, and it really oh. helps calm and relax them, whether they're on the go, whether they're having a tantrum in the car just yeah. hand it to them and and you can obviously also use it to massage. You just know my life so well right now. <laughs> Tantrum in the car. When does that not happen? Exactly. <laughs> That's part of life. And you can use it on the back too. Yes, yes. So okay. you can do massages on the back and it's really calming. Okay. I also saw on your Instagram you have so many great tips. There's different yes. points in the hand. Yes. That yes. mean different points for the body, right? Yes. So if you for teething, for instance, you want to rub right here between this uh the index okay. finger and the thumb. Okay. And then when you're um, rubbing their palm, you'll really want to just kind of get into it and massage their fingers because again, these correspond, mm -hmm. just pinching the fingers corresponds to their teeth and their sinuses. Mm -hmm. So you can cure, help with their immunity and cure colds. You can um, help with their phlegm. Uh, when you do a chest massage, for instance, like do the butterfly stroke, this really helps them uh, with coughing and mucus because a lot of times mm -hmm. your baby will be, they'll just be so stuffed up and they just yeah. can't, they don't know it's what to do. It's hard for them. Yeah. yeah so the vibrations really help oh. dispel a lot of that mucus and phlegm so they can cough it up. And you have different attachments there for, for different yes, purposes yes, too. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Exactly. For That's bath time or playtime and of course teething. Wow. So many great tips here. Um, you really do have an incredible social media page. I wanted to share it with everyone. So many more tips you can find on her Instagram. Just go to at call me. It's K-A-H-L-M-I. Thank you so Thank much you for so all the much. tips. I'll be checking in with you to see how this one does.